Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. We are here on Tatooine, moving on with the Jedi Sentinel storyline. Got to head down to the planet and find out what's going on with the secret weapon that is on this world. We've been uh, following the story of a bunch of secret weapon facilities that the Republic has had that the Sith got their hands on. And we're going to them all one by one, trying to make sure that they don't fall into the wrong or they don't stay in the wrong hands anyway. Uh, our Padawan's original master has been lost on this planet. We need to go try to find her, hopefully save her. Uh, so we're here on Tatooine trying to make that happen. Let's go ahead, hop up into the next area. Before we get too far into the video, though, I would like to ask you to help us to reach our next milestone of 10,000 subscribers by clicking that button right now. The number only goes up if you actually press the button. So be sure to go ahead and do that. Like the video to help spread the video out to more people so that they can have a chance at subscribing as well. And if you're once you're done with this video, be sure to head over to the channel, check out the 1500 plus other videos we have available for your viewing pleasure, organize in a nice neat playlist to make it easy for you. So that's my pitch for the day. Let's get into the story. Hi, sorry to interrupt. My name's Fowler. I was told you might be passing through. I represent the Republic here. Since we don't get many Jedi, I thought we could meet. I think we should talk. Get my meaning? Speak your mind. Just make it quick. Here's the thing. I'd rather not do this by holo communicator. I've got a little, uh, embassy in downtown Anchorhead. Swing on by. I promise you it's worthwhile. You're playing it awfully vague. Look, if you're not interested, I'm not gonna force you. But this isn't some local trouble. This is bigger. Follow around. You gotta love it when people expect you to just jump in with a leap of faith. <laughs> I don't know you for anything, but uh, come uh, come help me out with this big problem that we have. Like, <laughs> well, whatever. Well, welcome to Tatooine. I'm, I'm of two minds about Tatooine. I really like that it's a big, flat, open desert area. It feels expansive. It feels big. But I always end up just kind of rushing through this area. Um, I don't know. I think maybe this time, though, I'm going to focus on just trying to, I don't know, because this is a playthrough and you got and a lot of you guys haven't seen this before and you're going to want to see all of this stuff. I'm not going to rush through any of the areas, uh, but I typically rush through this area and then end up spending a long time on the next area, Alderaan. And uh, I'm kind of tired of doing that, <laughs> but whatever. Let's get over here. We'll talk to this guy. It looks like the next area for our class story quest is going to be in the next part of the map. So let's go talk to this guy, find out what he wants, see what stuff we need to get done for him. Um, I'm not sure. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, local story quests end up being store end up being individual areas and then they send you off to talk to somebody else i don't remember what this one is because i haven't done it in a while i usually skip the local story story quest for this one because we're already close to the max level for this area anyways already we gotta wait for the Ooh, ooh, don't want to fall off uh, we're gonna die if we do that so we gotta wait for the elevator all right here we go go down here talk to these guys and find out what we're doing And away we go. Leave me alone. I haven't done anything to you. You stole corporate documents, Camus. Zerka doesn't take industrial sabotage lightly. That's no bueno. Contact. Subject is... Subject is a Jedi. What are your orders, sir? You know the drill. No survivors, no leaks. Well... You're not killing anyone here. Open fire! Blast this guy down. That works. I'm gonna talk to this guy over here. Uh -huh. I got to use my Warframe double jump. 
<laughs> is it safe? Are they dead? Why were those people attacking us? It's... Well, they, they were... Sorry, I, I've got to... Just keep breathing. Okay. My name is Camus Orton. I used to be an accountant. My company sent those men to kill me. It's a Zerka Corporation severance package. What happened in here? Come on, Camus. You know how I feel about corpses in my workspace. You... You were supposed to be here. You swore I'd be protected. Sorry, Camus. As an official Republic representative, I have to at least look like I'm being diplomatic with the locals. You're the man I spoke to earlier. Care to explain? Huh. I take it you saved Camus? Thanks. You're probably catching on that we're a bit understaffed, and that I'm not really a bureaucrat. It took you a month to tell me that. This is a Republic Strategic Information Service project, a covert operation. It's a major assignment. Mystery, corporate scandal, and incredibly dangerous tech, with a lot of lives on the line. You could make all the difference. I hope the Strategic Information Service doesn't plan to keep me in the dark. Sorry, old habits are hard to break. This all started when Camus forwarded some Zerka Corporation documents to his local Republic security office. Now, we've been watching Zerka a while. They buried a lot of scandals, done a lot of dirty deals, but this was something special. Typical the corporate documents stuff. were mixed in with old expense reports. They described a billion credit research facility for the study of a Type 7 device. Type 7 device being Zerka shorthand for device capable of eliminating a planetary population. This is why Zerka wants you dead? Yes, that's right. Turns out they abandoned the project decades ago. We're lucky to know the facility was here on Tatooine. So Camus and I came to find whatever doomsday device Zerka had and keep them from burying the evidence. And us. Why would Zerka leave behind such an expensive project? From what we could find, sounds like the device went haywire and Zerka bailed rather than try and clean it up. Now clues oh, to Zerka's operation have been extremely hard to come by. Okay. Impossible, as a matter of fact. We've got one avenue left, but it's too dangerous for Camus or me. An old compound Zerka used as a staging area. Tell me what I'm facing, and I'll be on my way. After Zerka left, the compound was taken over by a gang of Gamorrean raiders who, I discovered, don't appreciate visitors. Still, judging by these <laughs> dead guys here, That's putting you it might lightly. be able to push past the Gamorreans and search Zerka's old storage archives. Gather any data left. Sounds like this should be relatively simple. Be careful. Finding the files that Zerka left in that compound is important, but don't get killed. I said well, it better yeah. myself. Okay, so now we gotta go back up the elevator. <clears throat> I don't remember if we have to come back here or not. I'm hoping it's gonna be one of those we have to... We it, It's a hollow conversation or whatever. I don't think we have to come back here, but... Because uh, waiting on this elevator is a pain. Alright, that's done. Let's get back out of here. And I would imagine we need to head over to the speeder. Yep. Because both of these are going to be off in that direction. I do believe that we're going to... That we, there's a there's speeder vendors available. So we may stop by one of those and uh, change our speeder out for something different. Because I'm not a big fan of this one. <laughs> but we have to get... I think it's I think the vendor is over by the speeder guy so let's uh we'll head over there I'll be right back all right we're in the area where the speeder is I believe there's a vendor over here somewhere there's a transport service ah right, here we go speeder vendor is there anything oh, interesting that we can purchase no it's all the standard ones Blah. That's lame. I was hoping that we would have access to some of the better ones here, but I guess not. So we need to head over here. And we'll enjoy the ride out across the desert to get over to the next zone. Got some Jawa transport vehicles out there. That's kind of cool. I don't believe that. So, I mean, some of this area is probably accessible, but I don't. I don't know. We're, we're definitely not heading into those. Drop ourselves off over here and head to the purple area. Arrow, arrows. Head to the purple arrows. Yeah. Okay. So we need to 
explore the drum shock, the shock drum facility. And also recover Zerka records. So we're going inside two different areas over here. As always, we're ignoring side quests because we're already more or less over leveled for this particular zone. And there's no sense in wasting a bunch of time doing side quests when we don't need them. I think four episodes per zone is probably pretty reasonable. Four, four to five episodes per zone. Oh, okay. All right, we were able to get out of that without having to fight anybody. Kill the droid. Aw, oh, come on. Blast this guy. Blast the droid down. All right. And away we go. Probably be a little boss fight right here. Oh, Zerka guys. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? Marvelous. I have absolutely no idea what you just said, my indelicate friend, but marvelous. <laughs> Sir, intruders! Well... You don't look like you're part of Shurg's little Gamorrean clan. Are you with Zerka Corporation? Oh, indeed. So let me guess. You're here because of Camus, hmm? That little rat does know how to squeak. Of course, I can't have you interrupting my deal. I'd murder you myself, but that's just not possible right now. Who are you? What are you? Well, that's a bit personal. Maybe another time. The rest of you can deal with this interruption. I'll be in touch later. Yeah, I'm a Jedi. I don't think so. Oh, there's two, uh, two, uh, blue guys. It didn't automatically target it. I wish I really wish it would just automatically target every time. Every time I'm about to press a button. Whatever. The only thing about these older games is that sometimes it just doesn't work the way you wish that it would. But whatever. Didn't we get an option? Ah, here we go. I was like, didn't we get an option that allows us to run faster? I knew we had one. I was I was saying in the last episode that I wish we had that ability that Jedi ability to like just run fast. We finally got that ability. One way to get up there. Blast him down. Blast him down again. You say so. Fine. Pick up the item. And then we just need to get ourselves out of the pit here. Uh, and we're heading off this direction. So off we go towards the next zone. And I'm guessing we need to go up this little ramp here. So we'll hop up that way. I have a bad feeling that they're gonna make us go back to that stupid zone with the elevator. That's really annoying. That's really annoying because it's because it's making us go back to the speeder. That means we have to go. <laughs> oh, these guys suck. These guys suck. Well, we're gonna fast travel. We'll fast travel back to the. We'll fast travel as close as we can. I believe there was a cantina nearby. So ideally, ideally we'll be able to do that. Crap. 
let me get through here without aggroing stuff. Uh, let me through. Let me through. Frickin' terrain. Damn it. Yeah, good as new. Why can't they just let me go? It doesn't have to be like this. Just let me go. And I don't have my leap ability. There we go. End up fighting everything here, man. Burn it down, burn it down, burn it down. All right, can we go now, please? Oh, should have used the force on that. I think that was probably something that would have blow that would that would have blew them up. But I, because I don't keep my cursor out, a lot of times I forget about that kind of stuff. Oh crap! Not gonna offer me a way to get through this without fighting. Let me move. I really detest movement impairing effects. That is something that should never, ever, ever be implemented in a game. Never, ever take control away from your character, from your player. Never, ever do that. Do not do that. That is a no-no. Can we attack, please? Thank you. Not sure what your problem is. All right. Through the door. A Jedi? Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. <laughs> Thank you for saving our little family. Glad to help. Do you people work at this facility? Hmm. Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. I take it the Sith killed her then? I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, that we didn't deserve to die. I've never known a Sith to show mercy. It was almost like the idea of killing us insulted him. He wasn't kind, but I certainly wouldn't describe him as cruel. The That's Sith different. and his soldiers took Master Kowix and the shock drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. The Sand People won't be a problem anymore, but we need to find that weapon. Can you help? This facility can pick up the Shock Drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kawix, and the Shock Drum. Should be in the next area, I would imagine. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the map never tells us. That's confusing. Uh, I'm pretty sure... We need to head back to here to go back down and talk to that. Then we can fast travel, or we won't be able to fast travel, but ideally that's where we're supposed to go next. The nodes are going to be out in the desert somewhere. It'll be faster for us to just go back, turn in this quest, advance it to the next area, and then... Come on. Uh, 
so yeah. I'll see you down at the bottom of the elevator, I guess. Yep, they made us go all the way back down the elevator. Just to go back and talk to this guy in person, when we could have just had a hollow conversation to move us on to the next one. I'll feel a lot better when we change bases, Fowler. I don't like this. You say that now, but just wait until you see the real desert. Hey, look who's back. And alive. You able to find anything? I found your data, along with Gamorreans and a Zerka strike team. Blast. Guess they must be one step ahead of us. Uh, Master Fowler? It looks like there's a call coming in. Why, hello everyone. Master Fowler. Master Orden. And my little visitor from the Gamorrean hideout. Especially nice to see you again. You're doing well, I hope. This man led the Zerka team I encountered. Not a friendly face, then. Since I didn't get the chance before, I thought I'd formally introduce myself. I am Gaim Lexende, here on behalf of Zerka Corporation. I know that name. I understand that the Republic is disputing Zerka's property rights. I've come to Tatooine to retrieve our belongings, including Camus Orden. Camus is a person. He's not Zerka property. No, no, Jedi. I have his employment records right here. He's very much our property. Zerka will take any actions necessary to protect its interests. And I assure you, our representatives in the Senate can excuse any incidents. Lexende. They say he's the son of an executive. He's supposed to run the company's special enforcement branch. Rich boy who took up wet works as a hobby. Up to his neck in cybernetics. Good news is, Zerka wouldn't have sent him if we were on the wrong track. He wants to keep us from the old facility. Look, Camus and I could use some time to review this data, but I still need you. If you're heading into the desert, give me a call. You expect to find something out there? I have suspicions. Hoping these files will confirm them. You can reach me from a secure line at one of the militia bases. We'll talk soon. So I would imagine that they, that we are going to be moving on. Oh, crap. Uh, I would imagine that we're going to be moving on to the next area, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that yet. So I will see you guys back at the speeder to head back out into the desert. All right, let's see Welcome. where this is Please telling us to go. Traveler. We're heading back out to here. Have a safe and pleasant stay. That seems weird. <clears throat> I would have thought they would have had us going off to the next zone. Alright, well, I think we're going to go ahead and just call that an episode then. Hopefully you guys had fun. Click the like button to let us know and to share the video with more people. Subscribe to the channel to help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Uh, you have to actually press the button, so be sure to do that. Uh, join the channel as a member if you'd like to support our work and help us make this a full-time thing to do. Or just leave a one-time payment with the thanks button if you would like to help out with that. Uh, so again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you are enjoying Star Wars The Old Republic. Be sure to come back for the next episode, and I'll see you then.